Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is going to be the next NHL team preview, and this one's going to be for the Ottawa Senators. The Ottawa Senators are going to be debuting one of the next studs that we think of of the game in Tim Stutzla, who really took over and showed up for Team Germany, who obviously did not have the overall talent level, unfortunately, for him to get over the hump of teams like Team USA, Team Canada, and other teams in that World Junior Tournament. But that did not stop Stutzler from putting up 13 points in eight games, playing very, very good with J.J. Paterka out there from Germany as well. So it was great to see him show up and show out in that tournament. And he is a guy that is going to debut tonight, and it looks like most likely be on the second pairing already with potentially Derek Stefan and uh, Evgeny Dadanov who they brought in and who was a very, very good uh, pickup to be able to be a veteran scorer that came from Florida. And then obviously Drake, guys like Drake Batherson, guys like Joshua Norris uh, have to step up more and uh, have more of an impact this year. But this is a nice young team. They got a, not, a lot of nice young up and budding guys. I think this team's still about a couple years away. But adding good veterans like Cedric Paquette in for being able to get rid of a Gabrick S contract, that's a good move there. You brought in a Coburn who's more of a depth defenseman at this point, but for a team like you, when you have a developing team still with some young guys, uh, it's good to bring in a guy like him who's been around the pond for a while to be able to be there for a young developing team. Uh, Matt Murray is a, definitely a good goalie there. Uh, Marcus Holberg is going to be the backup uh, for now. And then uh, he's a guy that we have to see what uh, Hogberg is able to do. Uh, he's a big kid, uh, huge in net, 6'5", really takes up the net well. Uh, it's more just with him about consistency and all that good stuff. Uh, when he came up a couple years ago in four games, he didn't really show up and show out that well. Last year, he was able to improve his numbers and have a 3.12 and a 9.04 in 24 games. So, all right, respectable numbers. And then in Bellevue, a 3.05. So, he definitely projects from looking at, obviously, his overall numbers via the ECHL and AHL as more of a backup if he's able to make it. But he has a big body. Those are the guys you never want to give up on because sometimes when those guys hit, they really are able to hit and put something together because as long as they get the positioning down, they really take up that net immensely. But I'm excited to see what this team's able to do with their young guys like Josh Norris. Uh, they also, of course, were able to draft a guy like Jake Sanderson, who's a very, very good fluid skater, fifth overall in last year's draft. Uh, he has a very good stride, and he's going to become a very, very good defender for them in the future. He's just a few years away now at only 18 himself. Alex Formenton, is he going to be able to put it together and be able to get going? Um, he's a guy with a lot of good speed, has some size, but is he going to be able to actually put it together and get going for the Ottawa Senators, or is he going to be kind of stuck uh, in that limbo period, uh, Slopik, who is part of their taxi squad, is he going to be able to perform if he has to get called upon? Uh, so there's different questions here. The biggest thing with them is the depth at goaltend, and they're going to have Joey Dacker come up uh, if somebody gets injured now, and their depth, uh, in my opinion, uh, also at the defensive position. Uh, they have guys... Uh, Vitaly Abramov, or Abramov, I should also point out, is uh, injured with the undisclosed. I believe he's COVID-related uh, as well, according to Cap Friendly. And um, they're a team that, with Shabbat, you got Eric Gubberson, who really shouldn't be playing that far up in a lineup, and Nikita Zaistev as your third, really more, no more notoriety defenseman is usually more of a 4-5 on teams with deep defense. So my concern there is really your... Who's going to take up and man the backup goaltending position behind Matt Murray, who we know should be able to come in and be a capable starter, but you also want to be able to protect Matt Murray. You don't want to have him just having to run around, dive out there like a chicken with no head, and be able to make saves. So maybe Erica Branson's going to be able to have a good bounce back season here. Uh, Coburn's going to be able to step up and take more of a starter role this year. And then we also got to see what's going to come out of big number three down there in Joshua Brown, who they were able to get out of the sixth round and now develop into something. So it's always nice when you're able to get those later round guys uh, that they got also from Florida there, or excuse me, Florida was able to get out of the sixth round and actually develop into something. And then now Ottawa is going to try to bank on Florida, being able to at least make him into an inkling uh, of a solid defenseman. And then now they're going to try to really upscale that. And that there's the potential for that. He's a big kid. He's able to use his body very well. 
And if he's able to just become a consistent anchor defenseman, that's even very helpful for Ottawa. Because looking at their defense, you got Tomas Shabbat. Nikita Zaitsev's a nice big body guy that hits and block shots and all that. But I, necess I wouldn't necessarily consider him a defensive anchor. So if somebody is able to develop into that for them, and maybe a big guy like Josh Brown that can use his body well and block shots himself and is an aggressive player because of his body size, if that can happen, then that would be huge for them because other than Shabbat, you don't really see another guy that's able to be able to do shutdown type things. And Tomas Shabbat's not necessarily just a shutdown guy either because he does everything. So he's a power play guy. He's able to do it on the other end, but he's not just a shutdown guy because he doesn't just primarily focus in on defense. But this team's going to be fun. Even if they end up finishing last in that Canadian division, they're still going to be a fun progressing team because they're only a couple years away and they're going to be a heck of more quicker skyrocketed because of Tim Stutzla and then who knows maybe guys like Sanderson felt quicker Formentin comes in and does really well Norris really takes off uh this year that's a high possibility potentially and then you have to see what other guys as well are able to do you got guys like a Gachenyuk you brought in uh you still obviously got Colin White out there so what's everybody able to do and able to come in and do here? Uh, they got a nice little group being able to bud here, and I think this team definitely still has some trades coming down the pipe for guys maybe like Colin White that they don't see necessarily as part as much of the future core going forward to get in more access to bring in more youngsters. But it's going to be a fun year for the developing Ottawa Senators, see how Matt Murray is able to do in his first year, see how Hogbert or Dacker is able to develop into a backup and see what's going on there with those guys also definitely the big thing is to see what Timmy Stutzel is able to do as well as new guys like Cedric Paquette but I'm going to be keeping an eye on Stutzel I think he's a guy they decided to debut him they decided to let him go where other teams like the Ducks decided to put their players in the minors and the Kings at first so we'll see what they're able to do I think it was a good decision and I think he's more than ready but we'll see tonight as they kick off the season in about a half hour's time everybody have a great safe and pleasant day enjoy the hockey everyone this has been the NHL team preview for the Ottawa Senators for sports fan news excuse me I'm Joe Borick peace out everybody